and in the question it is given that this compound contains a keto group hello everyone welcome back to plutus ias and today we are going to discuss the upsc chemistry optional 2024 exam questions yeah so here is the question it is stated that we are given with an organic compound which is uh, shown over here the name of this compound is 12 diphenyl cyclopropene 3 ol and in the question it is given that this compound contains a keto group and we know we know that any compound which is having a uh, this type of moiety the c double bond o is attached at the two side carbon is there so that type of group is known as keto group and in this compound we can see that this keto group is present over here and it is saying that it doesn't undergo the nucleophilic addition reaction and we have to explain why this compound is not showing the nucleophilic addition reaction so before coming to the question we need to discuss about what is a nucleophilic addition reaction so these are few important point about the nucleophilic addition reaction it is a type of reaction over which the addition takes place and in an addition reaction a smaller group of uh, attached at a double bonded atom at double bonded atom if the group is smaller group attached like hydrogen cl something like this so those type of reaction are known as addition reaction and here it is written that it is a nucleophilic reaction nucleophilic nucleophilic means that a nucleophile is going to attack nucleo means nucleus and phile means loving so here a nucleus loving reagent is going to attack and this type of reaction are mainly shown by the carbonyl compounds such as aldehyde and ketones so here the main point over here is that the co bond breaking takes place in such type of a uh, nucleophilic addition reaction and this is the let's say if this is our uh, this c double bond o and th this type of bond breaking takes place this bond comes over here and this is our this alkoxide formation takes place and here the attachment of nucleophile takes place here the attachment of nucleophile takes place this type of and then the protonation of alkoxide is necessary condition to neutralize this reaction so that uh, this can be stabilized over here the neutralization take place with the help of the protonation if we add the hydrogen over here so it became like this so such type of reaction are nucleophilic addition reaction so these are some condition if you use a strong nucleophile such as koh so that you can directly attack on this c double bond o if we are using some uh, weak nucleophile such as roh so we need the assistance of a acid catalyst so the it will attack over here and it will make this center more electron more, more uh, this center will be more uh, uh, this electron will come over here and this center will have a partial positive charge due to this uh, uh, catalytic catalyst assistance of this acid like this if we are having a this type of this bond comes over here and the positive charge generates over here a partial positive charge generate over here because this gives is uh, this uh, compound oxygen give electron to this alcl3 or some other catalyst yeah so now coming back to the question here this is our one two diphenyl cyclopropenone as i have shown you that this compound uh, most of the time they uh, it takes place over here but uh, by visualizing it is looking like a ketone but actually this compound is in so yeah actually this compound is in resonance if i draw the only this part of this compound i will draw this part it is like this so 
Yeah. So if you see what happens over here, the resonating structure of this compound is like this. This compound most of the time exists in this resonance form because here it is an aromatic compound. We can see here it is an aromatic compound. Why? Because it is having a two pi electron. It is having a two pi electron system. It is a two pi electron system. It is a planar. It is having a two pi electron. And it is a planar and all this is a sp2 hybridized system. The whole system is so it means a conjugation can take place. So that's why this compound is a, a, a aromatic. This compound is aromatic. This whole compound is aromatic because it exists in this form. And this form is termed as a compound which are aromatic in their anionic or cationic form. Like in this ionic form, they are termed as quasi aromatic. So as we know, this compound exists in this form. So this is the main reason why the compound doesn't want to lose its aromaticity because if the reaction takes place, this is our main compound like this. It exists in this form and if a nucleophile attacks over here, which happens in the nucleophilic addition reaction. So what will happen? This compound will, it will be like, it will become like this. A nucleophile will attach at this position. Uh, we can see over here that th this is the form after the nucleophilic addition reaction and it is an aromatic compound and after nucleophilic addition. After the nucleophilic addition, this compound loses its aromaticity. So that's why this compound doesn't want to lose its aromaticity. That's why the compound, the whole compound, yeah, this whole compound doesn't show, this whole compound doesn't show the uh, nucleophilic addition reaction. That's all for today. Thank you.